Hello everyone, Ife He here, your immigration attorney. Uh, in my previous videos, I talked about Trump's executive order. Um, one was passed last month, which banned almost all of immigration for relatives, except for the immediate ones like spouses and children. And uh, today I'm gonna be talking about his new ex executive order that was signed just last week. Um, first of all, this new executive order is uh, continued assault on legal immigration. It's, uh, it's an attack on, on people's livelihoods. It's an attack on people's families. Uh, and the content of the executive order I'm going to be talking about in detail today. First of all, it extends the previous ban to the end of the year, to December 31st, 2020. And then it also includes different categories now. Instead of just immigrant petitions, like family-based, it includes H-1Bs and Ls and Js. I mean, this sounds like a lot of information, but H-1Bs is, is the ones that is most important right now because it's the most common non-immigrant visa. This is what people use to, what companies use to hire uh, overseas individuals like techs and engineers and lawyers and doctors even. Um, and, and studies have shown that H-1Bs are uh, great for the U.S. economy. In cities where H-1B jobs are present, the, the growth in the wage was actually greater than in cities where, where um, non-H-1B wages were present. For example, um, an industry like uh, you know, a janitor, obviously you don't need H-1B uh, workers for those types of jobs. So the wage would relatively remain stagnant. But then a job like, um, like Amazon, where they hire huge amounts of H-1B workers, not only do they generate jobs for the greater economy, um, which surrounds it, Amazon factories, it also improves the livelihoods of uh, these, these workers who are being hired from overseas. And it also increases the U.S. competitiveness on a global scale. Um, you know, the, the country is not just the only person. Uh, I mean, the, the U.S. is not the only country that's out there that's competing with an international market. And so by attracting international talent with the H-1B, we're able to market ourselves as, a, as an attractive place for foreign investment, for our, our own economies and for better and greater products. But then Trump now, he, he's going to limit these H-1Bs until at least the end of the year. Um, and so this has a devastating effect on the economy. Instead of actually his purpose, instead of helping the economy, would actually hurt the U.S. economy in the long run, which is, which is something that, you know, although all this temporarily relieves some pressure on the COVID-19 impacts uh, on the American jobs, the overall impact is a shrinking of the, uh, of the economy, which, which I think is, is something that we should be aware of. And come November, when elect, it's election time, it's time to vote for, with, your, with your ballots and try to get them out so that we can uh, move forward as a nation of immigrants instead of you know, keeping him in office where he's gonna gradually increase the restrictions and you know, instead of feeding his base of supporters, we got to look out for the long run where uh, we got to try to improve the U.S. economy and, uh, with these foreign workers, H-1Bs, L's, and J's. So again, my name is Ife He. If you have any questions about immigration law or the executive order, just give me a call. Um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.